Ariana Grande must have been watching uh, Quiet on Set with a much, from a much different perspective than most of us. Because she was obviously, in the middle of it. Right. She was, and in fact, she was seen in some of the, the clips that they played in the docuseries. But she had, for those who uh, are of a certain age and don't know this, she had two huge hits on Nickelodeon, uh, Victorious and Sam and Cat. So she clearly had some strong feelings about what was being presented here. She hadn't spoken out about it until she went on Penn Badgley's uh, podcast. It's called Pod Crushed. Uh, and she opened up about this uh, and what her experience is and what she thinks uh, of what they presented in the document documentary. I'm still in real time re yeah. processing my relationship to it. Speaking specifically about our show, I think that was something that we were convinced was like the cool thing about us is that mm -hmm. like we pushed the envelope with our humor and the innuendos were like yeah. we were told and convinced as well that it was like the cool differentiation yeah. mm -hmm. and um I don't know I think I it just all happened so quickly and yeah. now looking back on some of the clips I'm like that's Damn, like really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I just you think about it. It's like what I if I had a daughter yeah. and, and then the things that weren't approved for the network were snuck onto like our website or whatever mm -hmm. it was. And that is another discovery. But wow. I'm going into it. I guess I'm upset. That's really fascinating um, yeah. that she's not really able to articulate the specific points. It's more just the emotion of it. Yeah, but that I find that interesting. Well, I think people have been waiting to hear from her for a while now because you've seen a lot of the other Nickelodeon stars obviously speak out. I think it's just hard for someone like her because clearly she's saying that she may have not had similar experiences of some of the people that obviously have come forward uh, about Nickelodeon. But I think what she's trying to say is that like through an adult lens, she looks back at some of the content and stuff that they did and does kind of find it a little inappropriate or weird. And but but she also, I think, isn't trying to go as far as saying, you know, the other allegations that people have had against Dan Snyder and Nickelodeon.